Hi everyone, and you're very welcome back to Yoga Mara at the beautiful Adair Manor. My name is Hannah, I'm delighted to lead you through today's practice, which is a lovely heart opening vinyasa flow. So today we're going to begin sitting cross-legged on a yoga mat. If you don't have a yoga mat, you can practice on a beach towel or some soft carpet. So sitting cross-legged, if that is uncomfortable for you, you can bring your two soles of feet together, come into a butterfly pose, option to bring those heels a little bit closer to the pelvis, finding a deepening um, in the inner hip flexor stretch or sitting cross-legged, whatever feels more comfortable to you. We're going to begin today's practice with a mudra. And a mudra is a hand gesture in yoga, which is said to form this connective energy in our subtle body and allowing us to really dive deep and find our inner center, our inner truth. And this one is called the Rudaya Mudra. So placing back of the hands on the knees, we're going to leave the palms open wide. And then slowly start to roll the index finger in towards the base of your thumb. With the middle and ring finger, the fingertips of both of those are going to touch off the thumb here. And we're going to allow that pinky finger to hang out. And take a nice deep inhale in through the nose as you send that fresh oxygen right down into the belly. And exhale slowly, sigh out through the mouth. Good job. Option to close the eyes here if you wish. And just coming back to your normal, easy breath. Allowing that new energy to flow in and out of the body. With every inhale and every exhale. This Vidaya Mudra is said to bring a fearless heart. As we sit here with this mudra and this hand gesture, I want you to envision what that looks like for you. Breathing in that fearlessness, courage, self-belief, and exhaling any self-doubt or fear of the future. Exhaling it back out away from the body and away from the mind. Using these mudras can help restore a balance of our emotions, which can be a little bit all over the place under current circumstances. It's just allowing this time now to find your stillness and find your center using this beautiful energy. Drawing it in on the inhale. And exhale to side out. What do you look like when you have that fearless and courageous heart? How do you hold yourself? Sit up nice and tall with a long spine. How do you speak to yourself and to others? How do you go about your day with all of the obstacles that will be thrown at all of us? How do you now, with your fearless and courageous heart, how do you look? How do you feel? Taking that image with you as we flow our way through this practice together, allowing that self belief, that fearlessness, and courage to be planted in the seed of your subconscious. On your next inhale, you can gently start to open the lids of the eyes as you relax the hands, releasing them from the Vidaya Mudra. I'm bringing both hands down either side of the hips. Well done. Inhale as you draw the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale as you loop them all the way back down the back body. Well done. From here, we're going to walk our right hand over towards the left side of the, or over towards the right side of the mat. So walk it out nice and slow until you feel a lovely sensation all along the left side body. So if you're here, that's perfect. If you want to remain here. If you'd like to go a little bit deeper, option to drop down onto that forearm. So dropping down into the elbow, noticing the deepening in that side body stretch. 
And on the next inhale, slowly start to draw that left hand up towards the sky. As you reach up, bringing your gaze towards your left fingertips or bringing your gaze all the way out in front, whatever feels more comfortable for you. And as you exhale, slowly starting to draw that left hand over towards the right hand. So reaching over, open up the chest, open up the heart. Gaze is up towards that elbow crease or out in front. Just protecting the neck you're making sure it's not collapsing. Breathing nice and strongly into it, creating that space with the breath. Exhale, so can you reach a little bit further? Making sure your left sit bone is planted down into the mat. And inhale, sweep that hand all the way back up. Well done. Inhale, roll the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, leaping them back down. From here, we're going to walk that left hand out towards the left side of the mat. Again, making sure right sit bone remains fairly planted into the, into the mat. And also checking where your, your edge is. So going to your personal edge. And whether it's here or you like to go a little bit deeper, feeling a lovely sensation opening along the right side body, but not feeling overwhelmed in any way. So it's a nice sensation where you're feeling that stretch, but you're not feeling any discomfort. And inhale as you sweep that right hand all the way up towards the ceiling, gaze at the fingertips. Exhale, slowly start to reach that right hand over towards the other side of the mat. Deeping that side body stretch, that lovely lateral stretch. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, sweep. One more, inhale. And exhale to reach, so you can go a little bit deeper. Well done, everyone. Inhale, sweeping the hand all the way back down the other side. Inhale to draw the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, looping them back down the back of you. Well done. From here, we're going to come up onto our knees. I'm going to find our tabletop position. So bringing our hands underneath our shoulders and our knees underneath our hips, we're finding tabletop, which is a nice neutral spine. So we want to make sure that we're not collapsing into the spine, that we're separating out those shoulder blades and we're sending our energy down into each fingertip. So you can almost see the whites of your fingertips. So bringing your awareness now back towards the tops of the feet. The tops of the feet are planted down into the mat and they're not simply just resting here, we're actually sending our energy down into the tops of the feet. Notice that when you start to do that, you'll notice that your core and your center starts to engage. So feeling that lovely strong alignment and a strong foundation created. Do some spinal work, work uh, warm-ups now. We're going to inhale as we send the belly down towards the mat. Shoulders draw up towards the ears, hips come up high and slowly start to loop those shoulders away from the ears and down the back body. Gaze is forward or all the way up, finding how it goes. Exhale as you slowly start to push the hips forward, round the spine. Draw the chin to chest as you drop the neck and shoulders and the head hangs heavy. Elbows rotate inward, finding cat pose. Inhale, send that belly back down, push on into the fingertips, push on into the tops of the feet. Hips come up. Gaze is forward or all the way up. Exhale, as you round the spine, push the hips forward, push on into the tops of the feet and into the fingertips, finding cat pose. And going at your own pace now, using your breath to guide your movement. Inhale. And exhale for cash. Inhale. And on the exhale, coming back towards your neutral tabletop position. Well done, everyone. So from here, keeping those hips above the knees, we're going to slowly just start to walk the hands out in front. So hands come a little bit more forward than the shoulders. From here, we're going to slowly keep walking the hands out. An option to start to drop down onto those elbows, but in your dolphin pose. And if you'd like to go a little bit further, we can start to walk those hands out and melt the chest down. So we're coming down into Anahatasana or our puppy pose, heart melting pose. So the main thing we want to make sure is that our hips are above our knees and the chest melts down into the ground. This one is a great one for the shoulders. So where we, a lot of us would hold a lot of our stress and tension in the shoulder area, this is a beautiful pose to stretch out and correct the roundness down in the shoulders and also Dropping the heart nice and low. Bringing our awareness to the heart center as we send it further down towards the mat. 
reaching those hands forward, feeling the stretch all along the shoulders here. Breathe into it, Anahatasana. Using your breath to deepen your stretch. And on the next inhale, slowly start to bring your gaze up towards your hands, push up onto the elbows, and then slowly you can start to walk the hands back in underneath the shoulders, coming back to your tabletop position. Well done. From tabletop, we're going to find our leg extension. So we're going to kick back with that right leg. So sending the right heel back towards the back of the mat. So what we don't want to happen is that our, our feet are coming up too high or we're dropping too low. So our leg is up and in line with our hip. And with the right leg extended, the foot is flexed. Push down into the top of that left foot and keep pushing down into the fingertips of the right hand. From here, you're going to reach forward with that left arm. So as if someone's pulling the left fingertips, someone else is pulling the right heel back towards the back of the mat, doing that gorgeous line created through the center. Exhale, draw that elbow towards the knees, you find a little crunch. Inhale, reach forward, kick back. Exhale, draw left knee or left elbow to right knee as you find a crunch. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, let's do one more. Inhale, kick back. From here, place that left hand down into the mat and bend the right knee. So, from here, the right knee is bent, the sole of the right foot is pointed up towards the sky. Take a nice deep inhale in through the nose. And exhale, holding it here. On your next inhale, you're slowly going to start to kick the right foot up. So you're finding a slow pulse. Exhale, draw the knee back down towards hip height. Keep pushing down into those fingertips on the top of the left foot. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, drop the knee towards hip height. Inhale, kick up. Exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale, slowly lower the knee all the way down to the mat. Bringing the big toes in together nice and close and drawing the knees out wide. So bringing the knees either side of the yoga mat. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale as you slowly start to draw the sit bones back to the heels, walking the hands out in front and melting the heart and chest down into the mat. Finding Balasana, your child's pose. Option to use this pose at any stage throughout your practice if you need a little rest. Inhale as you walk the hands forward. And exhale, slowly sending the sit bones back to the gills. Taking a moment to come back to the breath, into the body. On the next inhale, bring your gaze up towards your hands, so we're pushing up onto the palms, walking hands back in underneath the shoulders, and bring the knees back in underneath the hips, coming back to your tabletop position. From tabletop this time, extending that left leg out so that foot is flexed. Keep making sure it's not coming up too high, that it's nice and level with the hip. Push down into the left fingertips, push down into the right top of the foot, and reach forward with that right hand. So as if someone's pulling your right fingertips, someone else is pulling back your left heel, finding that gorgeous stretch, and that strong center line through the core of the body. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, finding your crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, find your crunch. Elbow to knee. Inhale, kick back and lengthen. Exhale, finding your crunch. Inhale, kick back. From here, placing the right hand down into the mat, spreading the weight evenly between both fingertips. And this time we're going to bend the left knee, so the left foot up towards the sky. Inhale here. Exhale, fly out. Grab your balance. On the next inhale, bring in that slow pulse. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, draw the knee back towards hip high. Inhale, slow pulse. Exhale. Waking up the glutes here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, slowly lowering the knee back down into the mat. And from here, just shaking the hips from side to side. Well done, everyone. And from tabletop position, extending that right leg back, reaching forward with the left arm, bending the right knee. And from here, we're going to reach back with that left hand, catching on to the inner part of our right foot. 
So holding it here for one breath. And exhale, find your balance. On the next game, you're going to slowly start to kick back with that right foot. At the same time, opening up the chest and the heart, bring the gaze forward. Drawing that right shoulder back. Really opening and spreading that chest. Kicking up with that right heel. Find a lovely back bend. Breathing into it. Inhale, kick up a little bit higher. And exhale to slowly release. All the way back down, bringing the enhanced mat and shaking the hips from side to side. Well done. Let's switch sides now, moving on to the opposite side. So placing that right hand down into the mat, we're going to kick back with that left leg, extending and straightening that left leg as it flexes over the left foot. Press down into the fingertips of the left hand, push down into the tops of the right foot, reach the right hand forward. And bending the left knee, so the foot is flexed, reach back around towards the outer edge of the left foot with the right hand. On the next inhale, gently starting to kick up with that left leg as you open up the chest, bring the gaze forward, drawing left shoulder back. Beautiful one for the back bend, great one for opening up that heart. Breathing into it. Great stabilizing pose as well, finding your balance, finding your center. One more inhale. And exhale, slowly release all the way back down. Planting both hands and feet down into the mat. Shake those hips from side to side. Good job. From here, we're going to tuck the toes underneath. Inhale as you push down into the fingertips. And slowly cover the knees above the mat. Keep the knees bent. Exhale, lower the knees. Let's do it again. Inhale, push down into the fingertips. Hug the knees above the mat. And exhale, slowly lower. Well done. Let's do a third time now. And this time we're going to come into our full extension of our downward facing dog. So lovely one to start warming up the backs of the legs. Push down into the hands, push down into the feet. Inhale as you gently cover the knees above the mat. And slowly exhale, bringing the heels back, downward facing dog. Option to start pedaling the feet out here. So allowing one leg to straighten, one leg to bend, warming up the backs of the legs. And option, if you're here, if you're keeping the legs bent, wherever your own flexibility, flexibility lies, you can keep the knees bent and slowly start to draw the chest back towards the thighs. Or you might be here with your full extension of downward facing dog, drawing those elbows in together as you open up the shoulder blades. Exhale, sigh out. On the next inhale, come up on the tippy toes. Start to walk your right foot over your left, left foot over your right, right foot over left as you slowly make your way all the way up towards your hands. Keeping a nice low hand. So in our forward fold, we're going to keep that crown leg hanging down really heavy. Keep a micro bend in the knees to begin while we're warming up. And slowly starting to bring one hand over the elbow and another hand with the opposite elbow, gently finding your ragdoll pose. So taking a gentle sway from side to side. Massage out the lower back, allowing everything to hang heavy. And our forward folds are great for the parasympathetic nervous system. So these ones are great to ensure proper digestion and rest in the body. So you only want to release tension. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale as you slowly start to sweep the palms of the hands all the way up the legs, coming up through the vertebrae. Nice and slow, crack the head up last. Finding your Tadasana pose, your mountain pose. Rooting down into the four corners of each foot. So in mountain pose, we're finding a really good sense of grounding and rooting. And this is a great pose to start to bring more balance. So we're balancing our emotions here and we're also balancing our physical body. So using this time now to really connect with the feet that are rooted down into the ground and shifting your weight forward into the front of the feet. And then so we start to shift your weight over towards the right and then back into the back of the feet, over to the left. 
and then back to center. And then we want you to lift up through the inner arches. So you're sending that energy up from the inner arches all the way up the legs. And notice how that subtle energy starts to create that tension in the body, keeping it nice and strong. Open up the chest and heart. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, slide out. Good job. On the next inhale, sweep the hands all the way up and overhead gaze at the palms. Exhale as you slowly start to draw the thumbs through the center of the body. Inch forward from the hips, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, coming up for your half lift. Hands can come onto the shins or onto the thighs, but you're having a nice flat back gaze as forward wherever you want to come up to. Exhale, folding forward. Planting both hands into the mat, stepping right foot back and stepping your left foot back. Take an inhale, separate out the shoulder blades. Exhale, lower the knees, hug the elbows close to the chest. Exhale as you slowly lower all the way down into the mat. And from here, keeping the hands underneath shoulders. Inhale as you draw the shoulders away from the ears and push up for baby cobra. Exhale, lower all the way back down. On the next inhale, you're gonna walk your hands slightly back. So the hands come out either side of the rib cage. And also you're gonna find that your elbows are above your wrists. So on the inhale again, elbows coming close to the body, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, push up, finding a deeper stretch in that cobra pose. Option to fully extend the arms. Gaze to come up. Full cobra. Exhale, slowly lower all the way back down. Well done. So really gonna do a lot of lovely back bends here to warm up our spine. So we're gonna come into elevated cobra. So bringing the fingertips up nice and nice. So coming up on the fingertips, hands are either side of the mat. On the inhale, we're gonna wave the body up. So from the belly, the chest, the chin, the forehead, all the way up. Exhale, belly down, chest, chin, and crown of the head. Inhale, coming all the way back up. What a lovely, lovely movement, nice fluidity in our elevated cobra. Inhale. And on the next inhale, gently bring those hands back and underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes underneath. Inhale, push up. Exhale, draw the hips up nice and high. Send the heels back, downward facing dog. Taking a side of the breath here, inhale. And exhale, side out. On the next inhale, coming up on the tippy toes and gently crossing the feet over each other. Walking the feet up. Nice and slow up towards the hands. Good job. Keep that Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale, coming up, arm Uttanasana halfway lift. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, as you sweep the hands all the way up and overhead, gaze at the thumbs. Exhale, release hands towards heart center. Coming back to your Tadasana and your mountain pose. Coming back to your breath. Feeling the heart rate start to build, feeling that heat in the body start to, be, start to be created. But knowing also that it is our breath that controls the heart rate. So once we can control our breath, we can start to cool down the body, so the heart rate down, control our reactions. It's all interlinked. So just taking this moment to really connect with your own breath and slow it all down. On the next inhale, second round of Surya Namaskar A. Sweep the hands all the way up and overhead. Exhale as you draw the thumbs through the body, hinge forward from the hips, chest, thumbs to thighs, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale for our Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, folding forward, planting both hands into the mat. Left foot back, right foot back. Now from here, we're going to drop down onto the knees, flatten the tops of the feet, and come up nice and tall. So, sitting up. Nice and tall here, and excuse me while I tie my hair back. It's going everywhere. So we're gonna come into our camel pose. So another lovely one to start to gently warm up our spine, get those back bends and heart openers into our practice. So from here, we're gonna bring left hand behind left side of our lower back, right hand behind right side. From here, elbows draw in together, chest and heart opens up. In as you lengthen through the crown of the head, Exhale as you slowly start to send the hips forward. So you're holding the lower back with the hands, pushing the hips forward as you draw the head back. 
If this is uncomfortable, you can keep the chin tucked to the chest or slowly start to send the gaze all the way back. What we want to make sure is that the hips are pushed forward, that our hips aren't back here. Hips are above the knees and they're being pushed forward from that beautiful back bend. Inhale, come all the way back up. Crown of the head up last and allowing that lengthen to come through the crown of the head. So this one, you may feel a little bit dizzy after this one, totally normal, it will pass, don't you worry. So just taking a minute here to come back to your breath. Another option for our camel pose, so you can come into your full extension. So on the inhale, you're going to reach up with that right hand and then reach back towards the right heel. Exhale. Inhale, sweep that left hand all the way up and reach back towards the left heel. From here again, if your hips are starting to come down towards the sit bones, we're going to start to push those hips forward, open up the chest, open up the heart, allowing the head to hang back, or allowing the chin to come to chest, whatever feels more comfortable. Constantly pushing those hips forward. Beautiful back bend, beautiful heart opener. And to get out of this safely, bring your left hand to left lower back. Right hand to right side of the lower back. And slowly moving all the way back up the vertebrae, crown the head up last. Well done. Sitting down in towards the heels. We're going to bring the hands forward, finding a little counterbalance, finding our balasana child's pose. Allow the board to rest down into the mat. Come back to the heart rate. Come back to your breath. On the next inhale, gaze up towards the hands, so we're pushing up onto the palms, bringing hands underneath shoulders, knees are underneath wrists, tuck the toes underneath. Inhale as we draw the hips up off the ground, knees off the mat, exhale, heels come back, downward facing dog. Breathe into it. On the next inhale, gaze up between your hands, this time you can step or you can jump all the way up to the hip. On your next inhale, coming up, halfway lift. Exhale, fold your forward into Tanasana. Inhale as you sweep the hands all the way up and overhead, gaze towards your thumbs. And exhale, thumbs towards heart center, finding your Tadasana, your mountain pose. Breathing into it here. Good job. Let's do our third round. Inhale, sweep the hands up. Exhale, drawing those thumbs through the center of the body. Hinge forward from the hips, forward fold Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold you forward, clamp both hands into the mat. Right foot back, left foot back. Second option for a vinyasa. So rather than dropping the knees and flattening the feet, if you'd like to challenge yourself today, you can also drop the knees and flatten the feet, do the other var variation. But if you would like to take a little challenge, we're going to try Chaturanga Dandasana. So from our plank pose, inhale as you hinge the body forward, so come up on the tippy toes, shoulders over wrists. As you exhale, you're going to bend into the elbows and just lower so you're just hovering above the mat. From here, we're going to flatten into the tops of the feet and push up into the palms, into the tops of the feet as you find an upward facing dog. So from here, elbows, wrists and shoulders are in line. And it's just the palms and the tops of the feet that connect with the earth. Exhale, tuck the toes underneath, send the hips up high, draw the heels back, downward facing dog. Good job. Let's do one more cycle of breath and down dog. Find that lovely stretch in the backs of the legs, send the hips up high. And on the next inhale, gently start to send that right heel up towards the side, coming up on the left tippy toes. Exhale as you round the spine, tucking right knee into chest, stepping right foot in between both hands. Inhale, sweep the hands all the way up, finding your crescent lunge, the crescent warrior pose. So making sure that your right knee is above your right ankle and that your left heel is off the mat, that you're really lunging down and stuff. And lovely stretch on that left hip flexor and lunging into that right knee. Inhale. On the next exhale, we're going to start to shift our weight forward into the right foot. As you do that, you're going to start to pop up off the left foot. 
So we're gonna, you can start to shorten your stance slightly to begin. So inhale, and as you exhale, shifting the weight into the front foot, Whoop. find your balance. And slowly then coming down towards your warrior three. So finding your T-shape, reaching the arms forward, flexing the foot of the left, the left side. Stabilizing through that right standing leg, well done. On the inhale, reaching the hands all the way up overhead, bringing that left knee out in front of the left hip, so the foot is flexed. Store pose. Exhale, kick back towards your warrior three. Inhale, coming all the way back up, finding sword pose, knee and in front of hip. Exhale, kick back, warrior three. And on the next inhale, slowly reaching the hands down, bend into that right leg and gently bringing that left foot down. Finding warrior one stance, inhale, sweep up. So in warrior one, knees, right knees above right ankle, but your left foot, the left toes are just facing out slightly to the left side. Where our hips are square, so you can bring your thumb towards your right hip, square it off towards the front of the mat, bringing the hands all the way up and overhead. Hold it here, deep in. And exhale, start to draw the hands down either side of that right foot, turn onto the left toes and face up towards the front of the mat, step off with the right, come back to your high plank. Take your toes in vinyasa, so you can drop the knees, flatten the feet, or do your chaturanga dandasana. Exhale to lower. Inhale for cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, down your facing dog. Planting down into those heels, into the feet. On the next inhale, come up on the tippy toes. This time start to draw the left foot up towards the sky. Exhale as you bend the left knee, tuck it into chest, drawing that left foot in between both hands. Inhale, draw the arms up, crescent warrior, find that nice high lunge. Feel a lovely stretch along that right hip flexor. On the next, inhale, shift your weight into that front foot and gently coming off the back foot as you find warrior three. So stabilizing into that left leg, kicking back with the right, reaching the arms forward. Inhale, come up for sword pose. So that's your right knee, front to your right hip, arms up overhead. Exhale, kick back from warrior three. Inhale, stork. Exhale, warrior three. Let's do one more, inhale. And exhale, kicking back, warrior three. Inhale, start to sweep the hands down just in front of the mat, bend that left knee. And plant your right foot down, taking your warrior one stance. Right toes face out slightly to the right, hips are square to the front of the mat. Inhale, sweep the hands up, warrior one. Lengthen through the fingertips. Exhale, release the hands down, frame that left foot, stepping back, finding your high plank. Taking your option of vinyasa or going to toss pose or downward dog, whatever feels good. Inhale, coming up for. Cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes under, draw the hips up high. Down facing dog. One more side of the breath here, inhale. Exhale to side out. On the next inhale, looking up between both hands, you can step top and jump. All the way up towards the top of the mat. Inhale, sweeping up, halfway lift. Exhale for forward fold. Inhale, sweep the hands all the way up and overhead. Gaze at the thumbs. And then exhale, release your thumbs to heart center. Coming back to Dadasana, your mountain pose. So again, connecting with your heart, connecting with that courageous and fearless heart. Connecting with your breath, most importantly. Allowing that breath to Slow everything back down. I mean that we're working on a lot of balancing and fluidity and movement. So getting that whole balance all together with this practice. And also looking at balancing those emotions. So with these back bends and openings of the chest, 
I'm going to open up that carbon block, that heart chakra. So from here, we're going to bring our hands down to the side. So going back to your standing mountain pose. I'm going to draw your awareness towards your right standing leg. So even giving your right standing leg a little flap. Make sure it's, it's alert and away. And we want to send the energy down into that right standing foot. So again, spread the weight evenly to the four corners. Lift up through the right inner arch. Feel that energy sensation coming off the leg. You're lifting up through the kneecap. You're bringing that energy all, al all up along the side body. Another great way for your balance and pose is to find your drishti or your gaze. So picking a point out in front of you that doesn't move and making sure that you're committed and focused on that point that will help you find your focus and your balance. Inhale as you slowly start to bring your left knee in line with your left hip. Good job. Reach the hands around. Clasp on outside that left knee. You know, as you tuck left knee in towards the chest, keep the foot, the foot flexed. Engaging the leg. Exhale. Inhale, tucking knee into chest. Exhale. Inhale, knee into chest. And exhale. Well done. From here, keeping that left hand over left knee, bringing right hand towards right hip. And you slowly start to open up towards that right side. So you're, or the left side even. So you're bringing the left knee out towards the left side. What we don't want to happen is that the hips go with it. So the hips stay square towards the front as you open up towards the left side. Option to bring your hand, your right hand in line with the shoulder as you gaze over the right fingertips, really testing the balance here. And slowly coming back, releasing the leg back down and pedaling the feet out. Good job. Now put it in, let's do more. <laughs> The silver lining that Ireland is getting all this beautiful sunshine and it's this chaotic period, but it's great to have the good weather. Okay, so planting now into the left standing leg. So again, spreading that weight evenly towards the four corners of that left foot, lifting up through that inner arch, engaging that quad. Inhale, bring that right leg in line with the right hip, reach around with the hands into the fingers. Inhale, tuck that right knee into chest, flex the foot. Inhale, tuck it into the chest. Exhale, straighten up those arms. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. And from here, keeping the right hand over the right knee, bringing left hand towards left hip, and slowly starting to open up towards the right side. So that right knee guides out towards the right. So the foot is flexed. Hips are square towards the front. Option to retest really the balance as you draw that left arm up. Gaze over the left fingertips. Good job. Bringing that hand back towards the hip as you draw the knee back in line and release it all the way down. Pedal the feet out. Well done, everyone. Okay, so from here, I'm going to turn the opposite side so you can see me a bit more clearly. So from here, bringing our attention and awareness back towards our right standing leg. Give them a little snap. Push that energy down into the right standing leg. From here, you're going to tuck your left elbow in towards your left, your left side body. And so we start to just drop the hand down. So dropping that left forearm, left hand down. From here, bend the left knee, and we're going to catch on into the outer edge, so towards where our big toe is, outer edge of the left foot, keeping the knees in line. As you inhale, you're going to reach that right arm all the way up. As you exhale, you're going to slowly start to send that chest down, similar to what we were doing in Warrior 3. But this time, we're going to start to kick back with that left leg. So reaching forward with that right hand. Option to bend the right knee to begin as you kick up. And then slowly as you find your stability, start to straighten that right leg. And once you're here, option to increase that back bend as you open up the chest, bringing the gaze forward. Finding beautiful Narajasana and dancer's pose. And exhale. Slowly coming back towards your center, releasing the foot back down, having the feet out. Good job. This is a balancing pose, and with that being said, you can fall out and jump back in at any stage. So sometimes you're more balanced on one side than the other, so we'll see how I get on the other side. But just be patient with yourself, be compassionate. Some days I can be all over the place. So if you're practicing yoga for a long time and you know this, if you're new to yoga, just going at your own pace, noticing where you find your stretch, where you find your balance. 
and then maybe building that up over time. Okay, so switching sides. Putting that energy down into the left on the leg this time. And from here, tucking the right elbow in towards the right side, letting that forearm flop down, bending the left knee, catching onto the outer edge of the, left, of the right foot. Okay, inhale. Reach up with that left hand. And exhale as you slowly start to hinge that chest forward. As you kick back with that right leg, reach forward with the left arm. And once you've stabilized here, often you start to increase that back bend. As you draw that left arm up, open up the chest. Kick back a little bit higher. Well done. Inhale, coming all the way back. And exhale, release the feet down, pedal the feet out. Good job. Beautiful back bend. Inhale as you sweep the hands all the way up and over. Exhale as you swan dive forward. Find Uttanasana forward fold, bend into the knees. Clasp hands over opposite elbows and find your ragdoll pose. Swaying from side to side, massaging at that lower back. Allowing your feet to hang down heavy. And on your next inhale, gently releasing the hands down. And from here, keep in mind, go bend the knee and start to come onto the uh, back of the hands. So placing the back of the hands down into the mat. And just taking a gentle stretch through the wrist as you straighten those arms and draw the forearms back slightly, bring the elbows back towards the knees. Give a lovely stretch in the wrist. Inhale, plant the hands back down into the mat. And from here we're going to come towards the, the horizontal side of your mat. So coming out nice and wide, we're going to heel to the feet out. Nice and wide. So the feet are point, the toes are going to point out and the heels are going to face in. And then slowly, as far as you can go, finding your point where you feel a nice opening in the hips. And from here, inhale as you sweep the hands all the way up and overhead. Exhale, bringing the hands towards heart center. So pushing out into the outer edges of the feet. And from here, bringing the hands towards the hips. Inhale, finding length through the crown of the head. Exhale, this time slowly start to swan dive forward. So you're leading with the chest down towards the mat, allowing the crown of the head to come down last. Placing both hands underneath the body, often to start to heel toe the feet out. Make it that stance a little bit wider if you wish. So you can stay here or you can start to move the hands back as you draw that crown of the head closer down towards the mat. In that gorgeous stretch all along the inner thighs and the hips. Breathing into it. Wide legged forward fold. Option to start walking those hands all the way back. Trying to bring that forehead to the crown of the head down towards the mat. Wherever you are today, tune in into your body. And on the next inhale, pushing up onto the palms, come up to a nice halfway lift. We're going to place our left hand or our right hand in towards the center of the mat. So push them into that right fingertip. On the next inhale, you're going to start to draw your left hand up and twist towards the left side. Reaching up with that left hand. Exhale, planting left hand down into the mat. Inhale as you reach up with that right hand. Exhale, releasing right hand down into the mat. Inhale, find your twist towards the left. Exhale. Inhale, twist towards the right. Right hand comes all the way up. Exhale, release back down. Well done. From here, bringing both hands towards the hips. Take an inhale. Exhale. Well done. Find that beautiful balance in your halfway lift. And on the next inhale, slowly coming up. Nice and tall. And head up last. Heel tone those feet back in. Finding your standing Tadasana pose. Well done. Inhale as you sweep the hands all the way up and overhead. Exhale, drawing the center line through the body, hinging forward from the hips. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plow both hands into the mat. 
stepping right foot back, stepping left foot back. From here, drop you down onto the knees. And slowly, you're going to send the knees out to the left side as you swivel the feet around out in front, moving that fleshy part away from the bum. And from here, we're going to bring our right sole of the foot in towards the inner part of our left thigh, allowing that right knee to press down and out towards the side. And inhale as you sweep the arms up. Exhale as you draw that chest over that left leg. On the next inhale, coming up nice and tall. And then from here, we're going to inhale as you reach the right hand all the way up. And then sweep it back behind you. Exhale. Inhale as you start to send the hips up nice and high as you draw that left hand all the way up. Option to send that left arm all the way overhead. Reaching back. Inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, plant the sit bones down into the mat. Inhale, reaching the right hand up. Exhale, four foot. Let's go again. Inhale, reach right hand up. Exhale, plant right hand down into the mat behind you. Inhale, lift the hips. Draw the left arm all the way up and over. Exhale, lower the sit bones. Inhale, reach the right hand up. Exhale, forward fold. Do one more inhale. Exhale, use your breath. Inhale, hips up. Exhale, sit bones back down. Inhale, and exhale. And inhale, sweep the hands all the way back up. Nice and tall. Well done. Extend that right leg out. Tucking that so the left foot in towards the inner part of the right thigh. Allowing that left knee to kind of out towards the side. Inhale, find the length. Exhale, fold forward over that right leg. And inhale, come all the way back. Inhale, reach up with that left hand. Exhale as you plant the left hand behind the lower back into the mat. Inhale, lift those hips. Draw the hips up, reach back with the right hand. Exhale, send the sit bones down. Inhale, reach up with the left hand. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left hand up. Exhale, left hand plants down. Inhale, send the sit bones up. Hips come forward, reach back with the right hand. Exhale, sit back down. Inhale, reach up with the left. Exhale for forward fold. Let's do one more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Well done. Inhale slowly, drawing back up the vertebrae, crown the head up last. Extending both legs. Push down towards the center of the mat. Plant both heels down into the ground. Reach the arms forward. Exhale as you slowly start to lower. Lower back, middle back, and upper back. And planting both hands down into the mat. From here, going to slowly start to extend both legs all the way up. As you flex the soles of the feet. Soles of feet face up towards the ceiling, drawing on the inhale. And as you exhale, gently starting to draw the heels all the way down, nice and slow, down towards the mat, finding your savasana pose. Allow the palms to face up towards the roof, the ceiling, with the sky if you're practicing outside. Mm -hmm. Allow the outer edge of the feet to flop down towards the earth. And just allow everything to relax and sink heavily down into the mat supporting you. Taking this time to find stillness in both body and mind. Allowing yourself to connect back with the breath. Connect back to your heart and connect back with that fearless and courageous person that is inside of you. Pushing forward through the unknown, and encouraged and showing up to the mat today to give your body and mind this space to 
to move, to feel, to be mindful. And if you have the time, please stay in Sabasana for as long as you like. For anyone who'd like to join me, I'm going to invite some movement back into the fingers and the toes. And slowly take a stretch all the way overhead. And exhale, bend the knees and turn it over onto one side, finding the fetal position. And inhale as you push all the way back up. Going back towards your cross-legged position, sitting cross-legged. Bringing the hands towards heart center as we tuck chin to chest. Bow our heads in a sign of gratitude. Showing gratitude to yourself for turning up onto the mat today and giving your body and mind some much needed movement and rest. Yin and yang of yoga. So I'd like to extend my gratitude to each and every one of you for joining me during this practice. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope to see you here again very soon. Have a wonderful day ahead, have a wonderful week ahead. Stay strong, stay fearless, stay courageous. You got this. Namaste.